What's up today guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to have another Legends showcase with a near perfect day in Legends League. We had 289 plus on offense, we had 6 triples and 2 2 stars that could have easily been triples. So almost a perfect day for me in Legends League. In this video, we actually switched back to three clone Hydra for this day. Um, wasn't really feeling the two clones anymore. It wasn't as consistent. Was actually getting some one stars, and it was kind of aggravating. So went back to the three star or three clones because I know it's going to help secure uh, that town hall and get those higher percentage two stars. But also a lot more uh, balloons coming out, obviously because of the third clone. So they could tank for the defenses later on in the attack for your dragons and dragon riders. And then it ultimately helps you get the three stars overall. If you guys like today's video, smash that like button for me. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming. We'll get right into the action. Alright guys, here's a quick overview of the battle log today. As you can see, plus 289, plus 60 on the day overall. We only gave up two three stars on defense, and obviously we had six triples on offense with the two um, two stars. But not a big, not a bad day overall. Plus two eighty nine. I'll take that any day if we can get five or more triples. That is a great day on Legends League. All right, guys, this is that army comp for you guys. Just showing you real quick. Obviously, I said we're doing three clones again. Got the one poison, two freezes, the rage. Nine balloons coming out of the blimp. And then obviously six dragons, six dragon riders, one baby dragon for funneling purposes, and then four balloons. All right, on this first base, we got uh, kind of a box style uh, broken up base. Got that scatter shot that is isolated down the middle. Uh, t Clay Castle right on top of the town hall. So I didn't want to come uh, from the uh, 9 to 12 o'clock uh, side of the base. I wanted to. You know, come from the 12 to 3, uh, just because I kind of had a feeling that this side was this side was baited. Uh, the sweeper was pointed towards the way I came from, so I had a good feeling that that side of the base wasn't baited. Um, but with this third clone, it allows us to put a clone kind of off the town hall. Uh, two of them kind of off the town hall, one on top of the town hall. Um, I, as you can see, I had one down here that I missed, but I got a free dragon rider out of it. So that Dragon Rider will actually help tank for my other Dragon Riders uh, through the attack. So really not that big of a deal uh, getting a free Dragon Rider, to be honest. Because I think here in a second he gets locked on by that single target Inferno, which he does. And that, I am just free Dragon Rider. So he's going to get locked on and take the damage. Because you know those clones disappear anyways over time. So he takes the damage for my uh, real Dragon Riders. And then they're able to get through that single target Inferno with ease. And this base was just absolutely smashed overall. Um, the, these style bases are pretty easy for Hydra. Uh, there's a couple bases that give it problems. I, I think the hardest base for Hydra is probably those anti-2 box style bases. Um, but this, these style bases, I, unless you just get super baited, um, it's really just a breeze pushing through these bases. And I, I got three Dragon Riders alive, still got the Queen with her ability, got the Baby Dragon that worked all the way down the base, still alive, and the Warden with the Owl and everything, so it's just easy, easy three-star on this one. Alright, on this second attack, um, got another kind of box-style base. I see the Sweeper set up, once pointed towards the Eagle. So I know the Eagle's probably not as baited as it usually is. If, if there's no Sweeper pointed towards the Eagle, I'd be a little bit more scared, but we're going to kind of dive in on main army towards the eagle compartment and then half it towards the scattershot compartment and then get that blimp going with the uh, warden and then that way we can push into this base and get these three, loon or three clones down, uh, kind of spread them out a little bit. That way they all don't end up on top of the town hall. So we pick up some good value. Got the town hall, the sweeper, uh, almost that uh, multi-target inferno, but we worked up towards the top side compartment with the dragons and dragon riders as well and are able to tank a lot of the defenses up there uh, for all that and these uh, loons are actually making the enemy RC target them too until she targets a dragon rider which allows our RC to take her out pretty easily um, so that was huge still got the queen ability 
And we're just going to push through the rest of this base. Still got three Dragon Riders alive. Warden and Owl working. And then the Baby Dragon and Dragon on the outside cleaning up. And we're not even going to really need the Queen ability on this attack. They're going to get that uh, Scatter Shot almost finished. Warden's, of course, going to step up and attack the wall. Thanks, Warden. 500 IQ right there. Let's help the Queen get through the wall instead of destroying the Scatter Shot. That is right in front of us. Um... But, at this point, we're going to use the Queen ability once we get past this wall. Just to make this go by a little faster. But this is going to be a 3 star pretty easily. Um, obviously, I've told you guys in the past, with the spam army, you want to get it down as quickly as possible. That way, you can save that Queen ability for the end of the attack. Just in case you do need it to get through a single target Inferno, a scatter shot, or, you know, an Expo. Something of that nature, a more heavy hitting defense. Uh, than just cannons and archers. So if you get that army down quickly, it will allow your queen to stay alive and keep her ability through most of the attack. On right, this third attack, this is a very common base uh, style in Legends League that we see a lot. So not really going to waste much time planning against this one because I see these bases all the time. All I know is we're going to get that king and the queen down at 12 and get this main army um, more towards the other corner, depending on which side you're attacking on. It doesn't really matter. If you're attacking 12 to 3, go, go for 2 o'clock. If you're attacking 9 to 12, go for 10 o'clock. That way your Warden will push down this way, and you can get this blimp in the Warden ability because I always know that there's going to be a Tornado Trap on top of this Town Hall. So if I make sure I get that blimp in the Warden ability, then I can make sure this blimp lives through the entire Tornado Trap, get that Rage down, get all three clones down, and as you can see, it wiped out this middle compartment. It just got absolutely destroyed. We did, took down both sweepers, the scatter shots, and everything else. And then it tanked. The balloons tanked for the rest of the army and allowed them to push up and take down the enemy queen and all the other defenses that were surrounding this. And this was over, overkill in my opinion. Um, just absolutely destroyed this base. It wasn't even close. I still had the queen ability. King lived all the way through. I just used his ability on the bottom side. We did lose the world champion, but we had a ton of the army alive still with the warden also pushing. So that was just absolutely crushed. All right, this next attack, we do kind of have um, a weird anti-2 style base. Uh, right away, the first thing I notice um, is how the scatter shots are on the bottom half. Uh, and then I got all three multi-target infernos in the middle. And then I got the Eagle Artillery by itself at the top um, with unimportant defenses when it comes to uh, Hydra. And then how spread out the air defenses are. Um, obviously, I don't have any Rocket Loons, so the air defenses can be an issue uh, for later on in the attack. But I also noticed that all four heroes are in that Town Hall compartment in the very middle. Um, so if we push into that Town Hall compartment with our main army at least a little bit, we can get those heroes down, uh, at least either the Queen or the RC, pretty early. Um, so I decided to come from the 9 to 12 range, just push in. I uh, had a feeling that the Tornado Trap was going to be in there. So we let this blimp just circle around and live as long as possible just to expire that Tornado Trap. And I put a clone on the other side. Uh, that way we could just pick up a couple of the defenses on that other side. We took down the RC pretty quickly. King went down pretty quickly. And we just got the enemy enemy queen, um, and that's it. She's one more shot. And once she goes down, all the heroes are down. And then we just got to worry about these uh, scatter shots on the bottom half. But we had four dragon riders go down there, which was actually huge um, to pick up some of these defenses. And this one healthy dragon rider is going to target that air defense and get it as soon as it goes down. So all we really have is the scatter shot left. And we still got quite a bit of our army left. Uh, this dragon is actually working on that multi. Doesn't quite get it, uh, which is a little frustrating. But we got the warden and the owl still working um, through this uh, air defense. They're going to end up going down. So right now we got a couple dragons and the queen. Uh, but this queen, like I told you in past, this queen will finish attacks for you 90% uh, of the time. You get her with less than 15% of the base left and her ability. With the unicorn still alive, she will get you the three star in Hydra. It's just, she's the best troop in the game, in my personal opinion. Um, obviously, every queen charge just revolved around her. 
she's just by far the best troop in your army and it's not even a comparison uh, thankfully we still had some dragons alive not that it mattered but the dragons were tanking that scattershot uh, hits for us and then the queen is able to push up take that scattershot down take the builder hut down and this dragon is gonna step up and finish off this multi-target infernal but I just want it to be known that multi-target infernal was probably a three shot at max for our queen and I think once the queen breaks through that wall she would have taken that multi down but we still had some of the main army left all right on this next attack we got one of the box bases old school box bases that we saw a lot at Town Hall 13 uh, so this is a pretty easy one for me um, I'm just gonna line up king and queen at six main army down the middle on the baby dragon on the outside and this is basically just attack from the opposite side of the town hall uh, because we're using three clones and when we're using three clones we can attack from the opposite side and not even have to worry about it at all because if you get stuck in a tornado trap you can chain these clones and still pick up all the value you need to pick up and then with obviously the more clones you can see all of them popping out after the town hall explosion uh, they're just gonna tank shots for the royal champion for fun but the tornado trap they found afterwards we don't have to worry about later in the attack which is perfectly fine with me and we pick up the surrounding defenses around the town hall uh, we're obviously using one less freeze and then because we're still bringing a poison so we got two freezes total and the poison um, but it's still working you can see how much of the main army we still got a, we got alive we got all four heroes as the royal champion goes down but we have a lot of uh, we still got a lot of the army uh, that made it through most of that attack a lot of it went down uh, we got the dragon and the three heroes left now but at that point look what's left we got the royal champion and a bomb tower and that's basically it so these heroes and with the 85 archers in front of my queen are going to be able to take down that royal champion and these last defenses very easily obviously we missed a dark elixir storage which I'm not even sure how but we're going to go down there and get that real quick and finish off this three star luckily in this attack time 95% of the time is not a factor uh, you shouldn't time fail but it happens all right this last attack we got another kind of box style just you know different walls and everything placed so I decided to attack from this side because there is an air sweeper uh, so it's not gonna be as baited uh, because you usually bait the sides that don't have the air sweeper so it's kind of anticipating had about a 50 50 chance of this tornado trap being on the other side of the town hall uh, towards the 12 o'clock so I decided to freeze down this air sweeper twice and just try to get this uh, blimp all the way to the town hall and I placed a clone closer to my army just in case I did find a tornado trap or a lot of sneaking air mines I could still get clones off and I took down that town hall pretty quickly then a couple of the clone loons spread out and picked up some good value on the outside of the base. Um, King's going to go through, use his ability into this compartment, pick up the RC and the single target in front of which is huge. Then he's going to break into this other compartment and find the air sweeper and then work on this scatter shot a little bit. Uh, so a lot of value out of the Barbarian King right here. And Queen's actually going to take down this Lava Hound so we don't have to worry about it. And we have a poison for that so we're going to get these pups down pretty quickly. Um, RC worked up got some damage done on that multi-target inferno and then we find a skeleton trap So we end up going down there find a bunch of air bombs and seeking air bombs that take down some of our dragons But we still have the queen ability at this point and it's just gonna be clean up from here after we get this multi down So Queen's gonna get the gold swords dragons are gonna get the dark elixir collector And then we're gonna jump in with the warden and the owl take down this multi very very quickly And then from here it is all just clean up end up swagging the queen ability because we didn't need it um, we're just gonna pick up easy three stars with this attack uh, I, I just feel like the three clones is just more comfortable it's definitely a bigger safety blanket um, it you know it allows me I'm sure I'll have an attack uh, in the next couple days to show you guys where if your blimp gets popped early by a huge teaser base and how you could chain the clones um, from where it pops to the town hall and the clones will just clone on top of the clones and you could still pick up the town hall you know instead of just panicking and missing clones like I've seen people do on those type of bases um, in yesterday's video we showed 
uh, my new base and I had there was a couple of people that placed the clones in panic mode on top of the town hall uh, while the tornado trap was going off and they they just completely wasted uh, six or nine spell spots so uh, pretty funny but that is why those bases are designed that way so we'll show you guys how to triple those bases if that happens Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. As always, appreciate you guys stopping in on an everyday basis and supporting the channel. Had a sweet video for you guys today showing you guys six triples in Legends League at the 5500 range. While using three clone Hydra, I switched back to that and it just it just feels safer overall than the two clones. I think it's helping me pick up more triples and definitely avoiding one stars. Uh, I was getting a couple one stars with the two clone Hydra. Uh, where I was getting trolled by some some certain bases, but with the three clones, it just feels like the more loons, the better uh, for the town hall and surrounding buildings. If you guys missed yesterday's video, make sure to check that out. We got a new Legends League base that I built myself, showing you guys four one stars and two low percentage two stars that I had and three uh, defensive legends days if you guys like today's video smash that like button for me if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe to the channel turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming we'll catch you next time